Uh, let me welcome you to the university, for those of you who have not been back for a long time, and also for those of you who have been here almost all the time. <laughs> uh, although I am not an alumni member, but uh, being part and parcel of this university barely for four months, I'm really very, very excited to interact with the alumni because in the last four months that I've been here, every activity that we have done in, for the name of the university, I do note that the participation, indeed the active participation of the alumni as far as the university is concerned. Beginning, I think, some way back when we cleaned up the campus, a number of alumni came back to help cleaning up the campus. When we had our debates, I think the majority of them were here uh, for the first time with uh, the brother Sadiq. Yeah? Uh, and many other occasions where I feel that the alumni are truly very supportive of the university. For that, I thank you very much. As a brief report, I think we had an engagement with the, with the president and his committee members some maybe two months back before we launched this university into its new trajectory. And again, there are many, uh, what we call, suggestions coming from the alumni as how alumni could actually help the university. In a very short term, I think we have done two quite significant change, I guess, uh, that is to invite the alumni for every session of the convocation. <laughs> and, uh, I'm happy to note that the President himself attended the first session, if I'm not mistaken. And this will be part and parcel of the tradition of the coming convocation, where the alumni will be represented in, on stage uh, as part of the recognition of what we have done to the university. The second one, I think, which is also rather significant, we have agreed to appoint at least two alumni to the Board of Governance of the University beginning this year. One is certainly uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador from Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, and also the other one is the President of the Alumni Association uh, himself. So, you are rest assured that uh, the, the interest of the alumni will be represented at the highest body of management in the university, and I hope we can garner a little bit more uh, courage and activities in trying to make alumni a very active uh, member of the university management and also committee. As you have noted, I think the number of chapters here are tremendous. As mentioned by uh, Dr. Suhaimi, there are about 90, uh, almost 100,000, huh? almost 100,000 alumni members around the world. If you can just uh, donate maybe 100 ringgit per person, I think we'll be in a rich, a rich alumni. <laughs> so all you need to do, all you need to do now is to pester the guy that you know, at least five of them. <laughs> Make sure they pay their 100 ringgit dues for once in a lifetime, and I think we can make it work. So I will rely on you for that particular Today, I think we are going into another uh, special location where we'll celebrate what we are known most, and this is about debates. Be it English, Arabic, or Basel Malaysia. This is again what I call the flagship of the university. No <coughs> university in Malaysia has got the recognition as much as my idea has had. And therefore, <laughs> it is only befitting that we raise the flag and say that as far as debate is concerned, this is a home that you must look at. And I've been working very closely with City Aliza in trying to make this known to many other places in the, in the Malaysia, including the local campuses as it were. And in fact, just yesterday, we had a meeting uh, of the MELTA, the Malaysian English Language Association, I think, for the first time in Kulia uh, Architecture and uh, whatever it is. Uh, for the first time, they're having a meeting here and we have offered them to work closely with MELTA to run a workshop between IIUM and their members to make sure that debates will be one of the permanent activities of MELTA together with the university and the schools that they represent. And this is something that they are very happy to do and I think it's also something that we're happy to help so that debating and oratory 
activities will be part and parcel of the Malaysian education landscape right from the very early age in schooling, even before they come into the university. So I guess we have a lot more things to do to contribute, not only in context of debates and oratory activities, but many other things. Yeah? As you as, as you are known, as you are known, I think debating uh, championship as far as this university is concerned, it uh, runs up to Cambridge, uh, Oxford, and we are also trying to create our own rather than just emulating what Cambridge and Oxford can do. <coughs> uh, IUM needs also to create its own tradition from the Islamic perspective, perhaps, and this will be a unique contribution of IIUM uh, to the world of debating and oratory activities. Uh, I've been told here uh, that uh, the former rector, that to, uh, Dr. Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, who was the rector uh, when officiating or introducing debating in IIUM, used to say, you should play sports to make your body healthy and join debates to sharpen your mind. And indeed, I think this is true, particularly now in the context of New Malaysia, we need very sharp minds to tell the government what to do and what not to do. Uh, IUM has taken the role to move out of, of politics, but still to take interest in politics in the context of nation building. I think a whole lot of very powerful brain power is here. And therefore, we need to play a role of advising the government whether they want to listen or not. Is, it, is there a problem? But we need to tell them exactly what do we want out of education based on the framework of Islamic education in IIUM. This is something that I wish we would do uh, on a very regular basis so that the government is reminded that education is one of the obligatory functions of Muslims and we want to make sure that the education that we set up through this university is the education that at the end of the day will work for the Ummah as we've mentioned in our song for Rahmatan Lil Alamin. Also the word Khalifa has been mentioned also the word Amana has been mentioned, also the word culture of Islam has been mentioned in the song in trying to read the word. Those words in the songs are not there for nothing. I think we want to translate it into something which is significant and therefore it becomes our role to make sure and to also remind the government that these are some of the mandates we have accepted in trying to make IIUM as visible as possible. Although the Honourable Minister wants to make this the University in Oxford of the East, deep down, I want Oxford to be the IIUM of the West. Mm. <laughs> and for that, I think we must also tell Oxford what to do and what not to do. <laughs> I think it's again our privilege to do that. In IIUM, as you know, the University has successfully stitched debates to become part and parcel of the fabric of the university identity due to no less contribution from all its alumni like all of you today. In 2013, we established the IIUM World Auditory Debate Center to further institutionalize debate and public speaking culture at the university. Debating and public speaking are now offered as accredited co curricular <coughs> Currently, Approximately 500 students are trained in debates and public speaking on a regular basis under the auspicious of IIUM World Debate and Oratory Center, IWON, and Center for Accredited Leadership and Virtues. Today, we take another step further to launch the IIUM Debaters Oratory Alumni Chapters. The word chapters may be, need to be realigned again uh, when we read our constitution, it says chapters are only for <coughs> association of this nature which is outside Malaysia. <laughs> if you're still in Gomba, then chapters will not be applicable. So I think we need to find out what is the best way. Uh, I'm sure the debaters and orators will come up with a fine word to change, uh, to substitute this with chapters. Today we are indeed very glad to meet many of you who are the pioneers of the debating culture in IIUM for the various languages. I am aware that many of you contribute by providing materials, technical support to our current generation of debaters, and we are at, we look forward also to your financial support in years to come. It is your contribution that consciously 
created the sustainable debating culture in IIM that we are recognized for now, which is hopefully gaining ground more and more, not only within this country, but also worldwide. The debating clubs in IIUM are the most diverse clubs in this university. We see debaters come from all sorts of nations, race, gender, and classes. Some of our successful debaters hail from different countries, including Canada, Sudan, China, Nigeria, Syria, Yemen, and Bangladesh, and also from the different kulias, not only the law faculty as it once used to be. To a lot of our alumni, debating was the warm comfort and family bond that they find miles away from home in foreign countries. And with the alumni chapter as it were, we, see, we stick to link the alumni who have returned to their countries and debating families that are here in Malaysia. Of course, I must make specific mention of our Malaysian debaters of Malay, English and Arabic languages who are well positioned in the corporate and the government leadership. It is our success, successes that have brought IIUM a great name in the country and the world over. Recently, the club has reached its height. We are the first non-Arab university to reach the final of the Arabic World University Championship and the first ASEAN <laughs> and the first ASEAN team to win the open category of the Australasian Championship recently in Hanoi. <laughs> All of this would not, would not happen if not for the effort and the will of our debaters and before to build such a tradition and my, I must also add people like Siti Haliza makes it happen as a person who runs I want to sit down. So that again, we thank all of you and we hope you will continue these good gestures in many years ahead. However, we believe what is most important is not so much the medal and the trophies that we have accumulated, but this family of IIUM and its alumni that have made, that have made in Malaysia and we want to contribute even more to connect to other parts of the world. IIUM's debaters and oratory alumni chapter, which we are formalizing today, will, I hope, continue to guide and provide the support for our new generation of debaters. I also hope that the chapter will continue to bring the debating community together and enhance our bond among ourselves and with the university as such. With this, with, uh, I am indeed proudly happy to officiate the launching of IIUM debates and oratory and the night chapters. Inshallah, we pray to Allah.